back to health science, gradual disease prevention. My name is Mr. Ahmed, and I will guiding you through this lesson. Make sure you have workbook and be ready, and let's get started. So today, inshallah, we'll be covering lesson 5.3, personal health behavior for disease prevention. First, let's have a look at the learning outcomes. Learning outcomes, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to connect the importance of personal health behavior, such as a healthy diet, educate sleep, or personal hygiene with the prevention of illness and disease. Okay, now let's have a look at the key words that you will learn through this lesson. First, we have behavior. Behavior, the way a person acts or behaves, such as you could sleep and eat all, okay? Second, we have blood pressure. Blood pressure, which is how hard the blood is pushing against the wall of the arteries. Next, we have cholesterol. Cholesterol, which is a fat that your body needs to work properly. There is good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. And finally, we have prevention. Prevention, which is to stop something from happening, like to stop COVID-19 by vaccination. Now, let's have a look at personal health behavior. Personal health behavior are lifestyle habits that can affect a personal health. They can be positive or negative behavior, which can positively or negatively affect health which is positive health behaviors include having a good or having a healthy diet and drinking enough water and getting enough sleep and having good personal hygiene and being physical active and getting regular medical checkups this is healthy lifestyle okay now it's a have a look into these in some details you already know that having good personal behavior and healthy lifestyle, like doing exercise, eating healthy food, could affect your modifiable risk factors for developing disease. Modifiable risk factors for developing a disease is can be changing, like smoking, high stress level, high blood pressure, or hypertension. Okay. First, we have healthy diet. Healthy diet, having a healthy balanced diet is important. A healthy diet can help prevent disease. Here are some ways that having a healthy, balanced diet can reduce the risk factors of certain disease, which is it helps to maintain a healthy weight. Next, we have it ensure your calcium and nitrates. Third, we have it help to control cholesterol, and finally, it can benefit mental health and lower stress. Okay. Now let's have a look into these in some details. First, we have maintaining a healthy weight. Being overweight or obese or obesity is risk factors for many diseases, like or such as cardiovascular disease or diabetes. Being overweight put pressure on the body organs and the blood vessels, which can lead to heart attack or stroke. Too much fat in the diet can cause diabetes. So making healthy food choices and paying a healthy weight for your chance for your age or gender so it is male or female can reduce the risk of developing disease and other disease okay next we have consuming enough nitronates nitronates which is the body needs include protein healthy fat carbohydrates vitamins and minerals not not include not including enough of the right nitronate in the diet can increase a person's risk of certain disease. For example, calcium. Calcium, which is a mineral that the body needs to build healthy bones. Without without enough calcium, a person could develop a disease of the bone called osteoporosis, where their bones become weak. Consuming enough calcium food, such as milk, such as cheese, such as yogurt, helps to prevent osteoporosis. Next, we have controlling cholesterol. What does cholesterol mean? Cholesterol is a type of fat that is made by the body and found in certain food. 
A small amount of cholesterol is important for the body organs. Why a small amount of cholesterol is important for the body organs to work properly, but having too much can block the blood vessels and increase the risk of disease of the blood vessel and heart. Fast food, unhealthy snacks, and processed food contain high amount of cholesterol, which is limiting this food, can lower the risk of disease caused by high cholesterol. A healthy diet and mental health. Having a healthy diet not only keeps the body healthy, but it has also been shown to benefit mental health and lower stress level. This can lower the risk of disease such as depression or anxiety. Improving your diet, you're improving your mood, lower stress level. Think, have you noticed that food that you eat can affect your mood? Do you feel better when you have been eating healthy food and not so good when you have been eating a lot of unhealthy food? Remember, having a healthy diet and being healthy weight modifies the risk factors of some disease. Second, we have getting enough sleep. How much sleep do you get? As you know, sleep is one of the most important things that the body needs. Why? To maintain health and well-being. Sleep helps the body to repair itself and be ready for the next day. Not having enough sleep can have negative effect on the body and can, and can even lead to illness or disease. How to get enough sleep? Now we have some steps to get to how to get enough sleep, which include aiming to get between seven to nine hours of sleep a day and going to bed at the, at the same time every night and don't eat large meals or drink caffeine before bed and not using television or phone in the bedroom. Next, we have personal hygiene. Personal hygiene, when you, when you wake up in the morning, you should brush your teeth and take a shower, wash your body and put, put on clean clothes. All of these actions are examples of good personal hygiene. Good personal hygiene, you have already learned that good personal hygiene is an effective way to protect you from communicable disease. Communicable disease, yes, you, you have communicable disease, which is can pass from one person to another like COVID-19 and et al, okay? By maintaining good personal hygiene, you are what? Killing bacteria or germs or garcia, uh, keeping the body clean and healthy, and finally stopping the spread of illness and infections. By maintaining good personal hygiene, you are killing bacteria keeping the body clean and healthy. Number three, stopping the spread of illness and infection. Personal hygiene. If you touch something that a person with a cold has touched, such as door, bundles, this, the bacteria can spread to you and make you sick or illness or disease, you should wash your hand frequently. Why? to kill any bacteria that you might have come into contact with, clear? You should wash your hands frequently. Why you should wash your hands frequently? Yes, to kill any bacteria that you might have come into contact with. You should wash your hands before and during and after preparing food, before eating, after using the bathroom, after pulling your nose, coughing, or sneezing, after touching someone who is sick, before and after giving first aid, after touching any animals, like cats, cow, and it all, okay? Thank you, all of you, and goodbye.